Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5066835 or KB5066128 because of these error codes on your Windows 11 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to start these services. Type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now make a right click on app readiness, then click on restart. Now find windows update, scroll down, here you can see windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, make a right click, click on restart. Now once done, you can go to Windows Update and then try to update. Still not working. The next step is to run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. This scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, in my case, I already ran it. So in your case, it will take some time. And once the first scan is 100% complete, run the second command. Copy this command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once this scan, the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows Update. First of all, if you see retry option, hit retry and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can pause the update. You will see pause option over here. Click on pause. And once paused, now resume updates. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update. That is KB5066835 over here and then click on search. And now, first of all, type in W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver in Windows search box, click on Winver over here. And check version, in my case, it's version 2.5H2. And also check the system type, so you can go to system over here, and then go to about option. And over here, you will see the system type. So in my case, it's 64 bit operating system. Now for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 X64 base system. This is the right one for me. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 X64, then this is the right one for you. So let me download this one and then click on this KB5066835 and then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. If that does not work, you can even install this one and then you can try to install this one and then you can check. You restart your computer after this and you should be able to update your Windows 11 with this update. S similarly, if you, uh, if you are unable to download mm, that date, KB, the other update, that is KB5066, the dot .NET Framework 1. So if you're unable to install this update, you can search for this update again in update catalog and then check. You can install it manually. Next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. For this, you can open Windows settings and then go to Windows Update, go to Advanced Option and then scroll down, click on Recovery. And over here, you can see option which says fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So Click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. Actually, it will repair. Uh, I already did it in my case, so it will repair the version. So once it is done, now you can try to update and then check. This process will take some time. And the next step is to use media creation tool. So if nothing is working, in that case, you can use, you can go to Microsoft website, 
scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file now when you run this exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish option once you hit finish it will take some time uh, it will take few seconds to close this window do not close this manually let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then run the setup file make a double click click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install uh, make, so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer and you should not receive these error codes anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel